The following is a Candlepin Stars and Strikes rebroadcast featuring some of our most memorable programs. WNDS Sports and Tri-State Megabucks present Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Oh, look at this. Look at this! He's got it! Ready for a spare! Candlepin Stars and Strikes is sponsored in part by Hawaii Camp Toyota Dodge Nissan. Looks good. Looks good. That's good to go. It's a blue. Candlepin Stars and Strikes is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to Park Place Lanes here in Wyndham, New Hampshire. It's time once again for Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Once again, we have a big crowd here ready to watch. We know you are, too. This is semifinal week here. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy, and uh, we've got, well, we've got three bowlers left in this series now who are three of the finest young Candlepin bowlers in the game right now. Yeah, leaving you and I out, sure. Yeah, they're Well, I said young. That's, oh, that I was the key that. word. Yeah. See, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, and then there were three. And, and each, any one of these three, uh, getting into the Tournament of Champions, it, it just spices it up that much more. It's going to be a great Tournament of Champions, and one of these bowls, hope they're going to make it. All right, the semifinal matches up this way. Our number three seed looking for his second win in a row from Haverhill, Massachusetts, Chris Sargent. Okay, Chris comes in averaging 131, uh, has a high triple of 494, and his roll-off score was 671. And last week, Chris was here to knock off the fifth seed, Bob Ferrara, with a 373. So Chris will go for his second straight win, and he'll face our number two seed from Pembroke, New Hampshire, Kevin Davis. Okay, and Kevin averages 121, has an individual high single, get this, at 201, and his roll-off score, three pins better than Chris at 674. We could see some high scores here the next couple of weeks. Absolutely. <laughs> The potential is there, anyways. Right. All right, we've got uh, big numbers to talk about, too. Of course, we have bonus money at stake for both bowlers, uh, $250 to the runner-up in this show for third place. We also have the bonus ball jackpot. We had a winner last week, so we've cleaned out the barrel. And we'll get to all this business, most importantly, our semifinal match. We'll get it started right after these messages. Don't go away. As always, for each series, several hundred bowlers start out. And then from all the local roll-offs, the top five finishers advance to the finals. At the finals for this particular series, there were 77 bowlers. And these are the top five who made it to the television appearance series here. And we're down to our final three now as Chris Sargent, our number three seed, and our number two seed, Kevin Davis, battling in the semifinals today. The winner of this match gets Bruno DeFeo next week for the series championship and the spot in the Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions. I have a feeling we're going to have some noise here, too. These guys have both uh, brought a lot of folks with them, and they're good friends. They know each other well, and this could be a terrific match. And there you go. Barely gave me time to get it all just said. Chris Sargent. Dan's asking for the double. Chris had one right at the end of last week's match to help put it away. Oh, maybe. That was good enough to be another strike, but the 5 10 left. You know, if people are rooting for the wood, that uh, they're into the match. They're into the match, yeah. right. There it is. Fair on strike. And a strong start for Chris Sargent here. He used the wood effectively for the five, and the wood took care of the ten pin as well for spare on strike, and a quick start. <laughs> now to Kevin Davis. One, four, seven, and nine. Ooh. Wow. No luck on the ten on the seven pin. Looked like the wood would clear that pin out, but it's a nine. Kevin 
back on the head pin this time for the spread eagle. Mentioned two hundred and fifty dollars for the uh, runner-up today. Third place prize money. The winner, of course, advances to the finals and a, a chance at the one thousand dollar top prize. Bonus money available for both bowlers here for consecutive marks. Didn't have any bonus money in the match last week. But I have a feeling we may give some away today. Well, Chris has got a shot right here. He's got two marks in a row, strike and spare. Oh, look out. No doubt about both of those strikes on lane 32, I'll tell you. Both on the same lane, both on lane 32. And that's $25 in bonus money. He could have easily had three strikes in a row. That time a little off target. $25 more if he can convert this. Yeah, oh, 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 I was about to mark it down. There it goes. No, nope, too far left. <laughs> wow, I thought he had it the first time when that piece of wood flew by. It looked like two pieces of wood uh, collided with one another, and preventing that five pin from going down. Let's see what happened. The head pin. Right there. Oh, yes. You're absolutely right. Those two caps came together. Might have cost him the shot. But he has 69 through four boxes. Kevin Davis looking for his first mark. Trails by 25 after two boxes. <laughs> it's a situation where you, you can't rush things. Don't start the press. Your marks will come. I think. Not Boy, there, though. <laughs> Lane 32 has not been nice to him. Two marks I thought he should have had. But it's just a nine and a 10 box on that lane. So now the lead, 34, as you see, after just three. Okay. Kevin Davis making his fifth appearance in singles competition here on the wins. He is one in three in his previous times here in singles. Made a lot of appearances uh, in the other formats as well, skins and doubles and mixed doubles. And there's the spare. First mark for Kevin Davis. In fact, uh, Kevin was here just a few weeks ago in uh, mixed doubles competition. In the last mixed doubles series that we had here, as Kevin partnered with Glennis Mangano, they won uh, a match rolling a 419 before being eliminated. Well, this is not all strikes on lane 32. That time missing the head pin. Just, oh, how about this for an out? It'll be a nine. These two guys finished just three pins apart in the roll off. Kevin Davis with a 674 and Chris Sargent with a 671. Off target, but not a bad break. Oh, oh my <laughs> word. Oh my. There would have had to been an investigation if that were a strike. <laughs> oh, and look at the wood turn. <laughs> the problem here is that wood is way out in front, so you want to be careful the wood doesn't fly, especially uh, hardy throws. No problem there. Let's see the first ball. Watch this now. Solid on the three pin. Looked like it could have been a half Worcester. Uh, you got to be able to read the greens, you know? That's true. <laughs> Very true. This is on a fill, and Kevin takes a page out of that book, missing the head pin, but leaves just the one and the three. This for two in a row. Yes, yes sir. And he sets himself up for $25 in bonus money if he can throw another mark in the sixth frame. In the Brooklyn pocket and almost leaving the five pin. Got a little a little tap or two on it with the wood, but not quite enough. Now the big question is, 
Is that wood in play? Looks uh, like it might be. No, I'd say no? it's out. Yeah? Yeah. I can't quite see the deadwood line from that camera angle, but... Yeah. I we'll, can. We'll know in a minute. And it is out, and you're right. I should always listen to you. Why don't you? <laughs> I just realized how silly that sounded. <laughs> For the spare and money, yes! $25 in bonus money. Kevin didn't hit it right on the nose, but... No, he realized he had a lot to play with with the left. He had the angle yep. of the wood on the left. and Let's play it safe, get the $25, and build from there. So all of a sudden, that 34-pin advantage is down to 16 now. And there goes the question of bonus money. Each guy has earned some already. This on a spare fill, just five for Chris. Now, come on, get the 10. He'll hit 100 in the seventh. Right, right. 102 right through seven for Chris Sargent. Get the feeling that this is maybe developing into one of those special matches. Mm -hmm. Big scores, mm -hmm. close. And in the pocket, Brooklyn side and the 3 6 with wood can get by it. Does get by it for the spare. That's five marks already. Chris Sargent. Kevin Davis has got a string of three. Remember, $25 additional for each consecutive mark he gets now. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. oh, Look at this. My. <laughs> yes, that is the head pin. This for $25 additional. Waiting for that wood behind the head pin to just settle. Obviously not a factor. Oh, yeah. No doubt about that one. 25 more. You get a good shot of Kevin here. Watch his grip on the bowling ball. Not one that the position that thumb... Not real, uh, real comfortable for most people. You want that thumb a little higher on the ball. It's almost like he's palming the ball, but again, it's style that works for him. Seven fill. Lead down to just four now. He's going to try to sweep the wood left to right. Ooh. Everything but the five. Now, did you see what I saw? Well, these guys are good friends, right? Yep. Kevin turned to Chris and asked him about the wood. Is that, I didn't, yeah. I didn't yeah. catch that. Yeah, he turned that. around and looked at, at Chris and I, what Chris said to him, but I think he said, look good to me. <laughs> he said, yeah, go ahead, hit yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're gonna miss it. <laughs> no, that's an interesting sidelight, you never see that. Well, often you'll see uh, the bowlers rooting for each other, that's right. pretty common, but in fact, they're both doing that here today, but you're right about that. That's, oh, oh, how did the six pin <laughs> stay untouched? The nine fill on a strut on a spare. Mercy me, boy! Those nine pins just scramble to get out of the way. Hey. Oh! Another oh. oh, coat of paint that was gone. And it's still there. One thirty with a box to go. Ew, half Worcester this time. Come on. No, oh, everything but the seven. It's the crowd. Well, these bowls aren't bowling that great. It's the crowd that's knocking the pins down. <laughs> They're just coming close. 10, 140. Oh, great opening game by Chris Sargent. Five marks for 140, that's that's good bowling. That means it's got some decent fills in there. He had fills of 10, 10, 9, 9, and 5. Come on. Kevin Davis. On top of only leaving three other pins standing. Kevin, 6, 9 for a spare. I'd like, like a couple. Looks like one of those pins is off the spot, but he converts it anyway, putting the ball right exactly between them. 
Well, big Phil and another one, and he's right with Chris Sargent. Five marks for each bowler. Well, that looks oh. like a good fill. Oh, that's oh. a nine. <laughs> Solid nine. Nothing, nothing touched the five pin. Kevin converts he this. He could take the lead. Take the lead, right. Looks like frozen wood in the back now. Ooh. Oh, no, it wasn't. Both the ball bowlers. is still on the plate, but it's not going to give him any help. I mean, friends are friends, but when one misses a single, you wouldn't think the other one just missing on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and twice. Twice. Just like he did. So it's a 135 for Kevin Davis. What a great opening game. Terrific match underway. Two games to go, and we'll be back with more of the match and also more in our bonus ball contest in a minute. Kevin Davis starts game two with the spread eagle. Each bowler with five marks in that first game. Kevin had five spares. Chris had three spares and a couple of strikes. Each bowler now just got to con concentrate on doing the same things they did the last game. Don't change your rhythm. The adrenaline starts flowing. A lot of times you overthrow, and that's when you start pulling the ball, and things change in a hurry. So they have to avoid that. Keep hitting the head pin. See, two big 400s would be nice. <laughs> Kevin pulled that one a little bit to the left. Chris Sargent, five pin lead. Oh. <laughs> One, eight, nine, ten. Some wood. That's yeah, some wood, and uh, certainly is going to help him. Yes. Bear in the first. Flush on the head pin. 189 go out quickly and then finally the 10. Little full that time. Couldn't quite carry the extra pin. Seven drop. Really well, Chris. Take a good look at it, baby. Come on, make it two, you make them all, Chris. It's a tough call. You'd probably play it with a two piece of wood meat, but I'm afraid you might not carry the 10 pin. That's what he's trying. No, nope. no other get either one. It's a 10. Chris has added 12 pins onto the lead. Of course, he had a 34 pin lead after just three boxes. Kevin came back on him, and Chris has been able to hold the lead. That. Kevin gets a nice break. One, two, seven, and eight. Wood in the middle. And not enough for the corner. Starting this game like he started the sec uh, the first game with leaving the corner pins. Looked like he should have had the spare, but seven pin cost him another one. Just a ten. It's 25 through three. Now to lane 31, crossing over, a little bit too much crossover. Oh, great shot. Great this shot. This time, seven will go. <laughs> great work, Kevin Davis. And as you can tell, both of these bowlers, uh, good friends, encouraging each other. And that's a great shot. Certainly is. Fortunate that that piece of wood stayed on the lane, <laughs> on the plate there in the back. Almost rolled off. Chris 
sergeant. That's on. Oh, this wasn't on a spear. I was going to say, I'm so used to him working on a mark. <laughs> Well, <laughs> now he's working on a mark. Just likes to accommodate you. Just catches the head pin. Ten and then finally the eight. Two marks and three boxes now for Chris in the second game. Now the fill. Oh, well, looks good. There it is. No doubt about that one. Just what the fans were calling for. Strike on spare. Takes us to a break. Chris Sargent in the lead. Don't go away. Both bowlers working on marks as we return. <coughs> Terrific match going here. Two very talented young bowlers with a third one waiting in the wings for the winner next week, Bruno DeFeo. Now, if I was Kevin, I'd want to catch a little piece of this wood to the right. That'll help you with the nine pin. Oh! <laughs> what I thought the five pin would go down. <laughs> oh boy. That lane 32, he's left one pin standing after that second ball several times early in this match. Let's see what happened. The five never moved. Look at no. that. And Kevin will shoot at the four horsemen this time. I don't think he's going to like this wood. It's going to deflect the ball if he splits him. <laughs> oh, oh, took boy. it out. Powerful ball. Make any difference. Seven marks for Kevin Davis. All of them spares. And now Chris Sargent working on a strike and looking for bonus money. $25 if he can put a mark up here. The bonus money from Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Come to Salem and save. Route 97, Salem, New Hampshire. Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Run it down, run it down. Already, each bowler has won some bonus money. Chris looking for more, and he's got more. $25 more for those three in a row. And more importantly, padding the lead. I think this was five pin lead to start this game off. He's built it back up to 30 plus. Oh, see, he's carrying that extra pin. That looked a little full. It looked like a three, six, four, seven piece of wood. Knocked down the four and seven. So it's an eight pin drop and another spare leave, three, Half six. Halfway through the match now, exactly. Chris Sargent at 225, and he's got another mark. $25 more. You see, 85 through five, that's 225 pins in 15 boxes. He's got 10 marks already. Four in a row in this stretch. Kevin Davis on a spare. He'll take seven. One, two, and ten. Need some help on the ten pin if he can clear out the one and two. Oh, stumbled that time. Stuck a little bit on the approach. That killed his rhythm altogether. Left the ball to the right. That's what he wanted to do. Ten bucks. solve lane 32 yet in this second game. Here on lane 31, he's got oh. a couple of marks, and will it go? Nope. That piece of wood that's now in the channel just touched it, setting the 10-pin rocking, but couldn't knock it over. Converts it easily for the spare. That's three marks in a row down on that side, on lane 31. But as you see, nothing on lane 32 yet this game. Meanwhile, this fellow is sizzling. Had a spare in the first, open the second, then he went spare, strike, spare, spare. This is the fill. Just five this time. Well, he hit 100 in the seventh box last game. He does it in the sixth box this time. $25 if he makes it. Oh, he's got it! He's got it, doesn't he? Oh, come on! Oh, my. 
<laughs> Can we give him 12.50 just for a close oh, call? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. What a shot. <laughs> 10 ending the string of bonus money. This time around, here's what happened. Just touches the three pin into the two and four rocks back and forth. You think it's going to fall. The second piece of wood behind hits it and steadies it. 36 pins the lead now for Chris Sargent. Well, <laughs> this is gone. He's going to make this. You think so? I think he's going to make this. The 3 7. Let's watch. A little and easier listen. than the last cut shot. No. Well, it's a break for Kevin Davis, really. The storm seems to be over, at least for these two boxes, and Kevin's working on a spare. 120 through 8. Hasn't left a pin standing in this game. He's 260 already with two boxes to go in this game, and of course the third one to come. Kevin needs to put some marks together. Oh, there's one. Oh, my. How could that not be a strike? Ten pin again. This time a little easier for him because he got a couple pieces of wood out in front. There it is. Two in a row for Kevin. He'll have a shot at bonus money again here. And again, he's making a rush at the end of the game, climbing back in, down by 27. Surprising that Kevin hasn't thrown a strike yet. He's got nine spares. Six fill. Bonus money if he makes this. One, two, eight, and ten. Turned it over. Turned it over a little too much. And it's a nine for a 123. Two game total, 258 for Kevin Davis. Not a bad two-game total. But Chris Sargent is already at 260 plus the final two frames. Needs another. Gets it. He's, that ball is just alive right now. That was flush in the head pin. Looked like the six-seven left, and something kicks the seven out, leaves him the six pin, and all kinds of help right and left. Spare in the ninth. Chance for bonus money. Here in the final two for Chris. Needs two more marks, of course. Wouldn't bet against him the way he's rolling right now. Oh, of course it's coming this way. Of course it is. Well, the wood isn't the greatest, though. When the things are going well, things are going in your favor, you always seem to get that extra pin. You just want to ride it as long as you can, because it could come to an abrupt halt. Can he drive this back through? That's the question. Well, there's a way you'll find it. No. He'll have to settle for something in the 140s. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Make it 148 with no pins standing in that second game. 288 to 258. Chris Sargent in the lead. This semifinal match on Candlepin Stars and Strikes will continue after these messages. Four bowlers are already in to the seventh annual Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions. Paul Berger sitting in a good spot, 454. Tom Morgan and Jack Quinn at each at 397, and John Plant qualified in at 344. The winner of this match today, of course, will face Bruno DeFeo, and the fifth bowler into the Tournament of Champions will be decided next week. But first, we have to settle this one. Chris Sargent with the 30-pin lead with one game to go. Chris is on the head pin, a little light. And, well, he carried an extra pin, probably not the one he wanted. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Two extra pins. This one fell right in front of the seven and eight. Oh, wait a minute, uh, let's see where that wood settles down. Still got room, hit that red line. Uh, he's right on it. Yes. What a shot that was. 
That is the 12th mark in 21 boxes for Chris Sargent. So how about the same leave again? Yeah, let's try it again. This time, let's move the wood out a little further. It'll be tougher this time. Even still, though, again, he took out a couple of extra pins. Yeah, I think he's, well, yeah, he's got to be the left of the red line, I believe. Left hand tip, have the ball carry him off with the seven pin, and the wood take the eight. That's what he's trying. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Two more for Chris Sargent. Just touches the end of that wood. All Kevin do is try to put some marks up. See if he's going to cool off. But it's Kevin's nemesis this week. It's the corner pins. The seven pins been hurting him. Now he's got the seven and the ten. And watch this wood fly. Not enough. Just nine. The crowd trying to urge Kevin on. That first mark up there and build on that. Good looking first ball. There's his first strike of the match. And it isn't it isn't like he hasn't thrown some strike balls. That's right. And Kevin can throw strikes, so if he's got his first one now, who knows? There might be two or three more in the waiting. On a spare. Chris Sargent, there's $25 more in bonus oh. money. Have to slow this one way down. Oof. All of his strikes today, boy, he just annihilates those pins, and they just jump off that ball. How about another one? Oh. Almost. So the arm swing there. He knew that ball was in the pocket as well. He's in that zone right now. He just feels he can hit one, two, one, three pocket every time up there. Oh. Well, this is something we don't talk about too much, Dan, but also you get in a situation like this where things are going well. He's obviously throwing a great ball, a very explosive ball right now, and you can feed off the crowd as well because That's you right. know if you Absolutely. do something, the crowd is going to go crazy. Yep, it's like any other sport. That crowd gets behind you. Well, Kevin's thinking strike again, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure, need some help. One, five, one, four, five, seven. No, slipped by the head pin, eventually did take it out. That piece of wood, which I think is the head pin, will be removed, but Kevin upset with himself because he missed it on the original shot. So it goes as an eight fill on the strike. But an opportunity lost also because that might have gone for a spare had he hit the head pin. And there it is for the 10. So now he trails by 50 with seven boxes to go. Oh, I thought that was number two. I thought that was his second strike. In this situation, you have to watch this wood. Yep. The way they were angled and two pieces of wood together, you know they're going to fly. It's almost, in that situation, you almost want to slow the ball down a little bit, but to say that to someone, you might lose all your timing. Big lead for Chris Sargent. Six boxes to go in this semifinal match. We'll come back to decide it here at Park Place Lanes in Wyndham in a minute. All right, back we are, Chris Sargent. All you pizza lovers, this guy's bone so great. Someone just asked him what he had for lunch. He said, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the secret. That's the secret. <laughs> Spare. And even that was a, a little flush on that front pin, but he's just carrying everything he's close to. Bowling terrific. 
25 boxes he's rolled. He's got 15 My marks. <laughs> Touch him all. Hey, hey, up the hill. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seven fill. One, six, ten. Piece of wood behind the head pin. Let's see where it settles down. You know, first order of business is catch the head pin. And the wood could help him with the six, ten. There it is. Actually, the head pin going down off the sidewall and took the other two. Pizza, eh? I think they just delivered a piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin Davis looking for strikes now. Needs to throw strikes. And he can do it, so. This is far from over. There's a spare in the fifth. Ordinarily, a situation like this, you'd say, well, it's pretty much done, but. When you got a guy that can throw strikes. There's one. Oof. <laughs> and throw much better than that. A pin went in, might even been the head pin, went in amongst all three of those pins without touching anything. Great spare. Two in a row, both bowlers with a shot at bonus money now. Come on, baby, come on. Keep it going now, keep it going now. Phil of six. Once again, Chris hits a hundred in the sixth box. One, two, nine, ten. For bonus money. Oh, yeah, yeah. No wood. What a shot. Oh. Ring it up, $25 more. You know, he's due to bury another one now, too. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this is a nine pin drop or a strike. There it is. <laughs> well, they're having a laugh about it. Kevin Davis, the first one to congratulate him. $25 more. What a powerful shot. The six pin almost stood up again after it went off the wall. Kevin Davis trying to get some bonus money for himself. It's going to be a difficult shot here. Nine. Well, we go back to uh, October of 83. Uh, rather, 93. October of 93. Kevin Davis was here and threw a 398 and lost by 10 to Tom Morgan. So he threw a 398 and lost that day. He's going to have another fine triple here today. But it's not going to be enough. Chris Sargent is already at 418. Kevin just turned around and said something to Chris Sargent. I'm not sure what it was, but, but he got a laugh out of it. For the spare, why not? Sure. Kevin will get one more crack at bonus money his last time up. Meanwhile, Chris has still got his streak going. Oh my, oh. nothing happened on that ball. First time today. But don't give up yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth 25 if he converts it. Yeah! I told you! Don't give up! <laughs> oh my! What an exhibition. Unbelievable. <laughs> Chris has $150 in bonus money right now with room for more. Skip that one. He's just trying to make it exciting now. <laughs> He's just trying to make it exciting. If he converts this, it'll be his 20th mark of the match. He's closing at 450. Oh, he got it! 20 marks for Chris Sargent and $25 more. 165 in a ball. More bonus money if he can throw a strike here. 443 already. Oh. oh, he stole another one. 
<laughs> the Spread Eagles, 169. And a three game total of 457 for Chris Sargent. Wow. I'm sure he would love to have had that score next week. <laughs> yeah, that would have put him top seed. Paul Berger was sitting with 454. Wouldn't that have been exciting? Right down to the last ball. It's 107 for Kevin. He's at 365. Decent three game total, but today it's uh, not nearly enough. Coming this way. Well, Kevin has 13 marks of his own. Make it 14 now. But it just uh, pales in comparison to what Chris Sargent did today. Three seventy-five plus this ball. Seven for three eighty-two. A one twenty-four to wrap it up for Kevin Davis and these two good friends. High five to celebrate quite a match. Chris Sargent, four fifty-seven. He will go to the finals next week against Bruno DeFeo, and we will be back to talk to him about it right after these messages. Well, we anticipated some fireworks here today, and that's exactly what we got. Of course, everybody's wondering now, well, what happened to Chris Sargent in that first game? He struggled to a 140, but he bounced back with a 148 and a 169. Yeah, I think he made a few adjust adjustments <laughs> there, and he started throwing a few marks. My goodness, that's, uh, that's uh, one of the best performances I've seen. Oh, this is 1995. We go back to uh, Paul Berger and uh, Glenn Shaddock's match, but uh, he just was on top of it. He missed one single, I think, early in the match. They were kidding him about his father, and I'm sure, <laughs> knowing Mike, he's going to say, you, what, you couldn't hit 460? You must have missed a single or something. Yeah, you won't give him much credit at all. All right, let's talk to both bowlers. How about a big round of applause first for Kevin Davis? A, a 382 for Kevin in defeat today, a check for $250 for third place, and uh, also $50 in uh, bonus money. Slide right in here, Kevin, so we can get you on camera. And uh, Well, you, you guys knew what you were up against. You know each other very well, oh, so yeah. Chris had the game going today. Yeah, you ain't kidding, he had it going today. <laughs> I told him to save that for next week. <laughs> Take yeah. out Burger by three. <laughs> no, well, he was on fire. Well, obviously, though, I mean, what people may forget, uh, because everything that happened after that, but early in the match, he went up by 30 right away. Yeah. You came back, you got it close, and then he just took off on you. Even your game. after the second string, I thought I could still get him. Mm -hmm. You know, it was only 30. Mm -hmm. If I'd have gone to 69, he went to 24. <laughs> you get someone else throwing that bonus ball. <laughs> well, congr <laughs> congratulations, though, on a okay. terrific effort, and uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you again yeah, soon. I'll be back. All right, Kevin. All right. Thank you very much. And now, Chris Sargent for the bonus ball. We're back down to $20, and we have a brand new uh, barrel full of cards here. And uh, we'll be looking for a winner of the cash and also of the uh, brand new bowling balls from Paramount Industries. Chris may need a set of brand new bowling balls. He worked these so hard during that match. Well, let's see, this time it'll be six. Chris got a match last week with a seven. So let's, let's see if we can make it two in a row here. Not a match this time for L.A. Greska, I believe that is, from Hudson, Massachusetts. And uh, Mr. or Ms. Greska, thanks very much for the entry. The guess was eight, by the way. And uh, so that means the jackpot will go up to $30 next week. And this guy uh, will be back here next week, too. Congratulations. That was a terrific effort. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Obviously, you know, we talk about the zone a lot. And, and you're in one of those situations in this match, I think, especially in that last game. Everything you did just turned out right. Yes, I finally found it. I couldn't find it last week <laughs> at all and finally got into it today. So. Well, see, but you discovered the secret, pizza. Right? Yes, sales pizza. It was excellent. <laughs> Great pizza. <laughs> Publicity. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, he deserves it, I guess, after what you just did. Well, now, next week, uh, Bruno DeFeo coming in, and he threw a big score in the roll-off, uh, the only one to hit 700. So uh, we'll be looking forward to that match. Yes, right. another tough one. Thanks yes. very much. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Chris. Congratulations. One more round of applause for him, and one more look at the four guys who have already qualified for the seventh annual Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions. We'll get our fifth qualifier next week. It'll either be Chris Sargent or Bruno DeFeo. Bruno coming in as the number one seed, and you see they were talking about the uh, 457 that Chris threw today. That would have been good enough to take over the number one spot 
had he thrown it in the finals. But you never know. Somebody might be able to top Paul Berger next week. That's right. Tri-State Megabucks. Just, just imagine one of those bowlers <laughs> being, being in, the, in the Tournament of Champions. Good line, huh? Uh, very good. Very yeah. good. You've but, been practicing. Yes, right. I take after you. No, it's, uh, either one of these two bowlers, and uh, it's shaping up to be another great, great one. All right. Don't forget, next weekend, lots of bowling excitement here on the Winds of New England. Saturday at 12 noon, as always, from the Londonderry Bowling Center, we'll have Candlepin Skins. And I know you'll be here on Sunday at noon for the finals of this series. It'll be Chris Sargent going against number one seed Bruno DeFeo. Until next weekend, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for joining us.